Back in this country now, what has already been a dangerous and destructive tornado season has spawned this. The National Weather Service has been studying last year's extreme tornadoes and is now testing a new warning system in the Midwest's Tornado Alley. Our report from NBC's John Yang. Sometimes there's little warning, but in the annual struggle with nature that is tornado season, the National Weather Service hopes blunt words of warning will get people to take cover before something like this is right on top of them. Starting today, they're testing the new system in parts of Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois. We want to make sure that the language we use is strong enough to motivate people to understand that they need to take immediate action to protect themselves. For example, the warning before a tornado killed 161 people in Joplin, Missouri last May said the safest place to be during a tornado is in a basement. Under the new system, that warning might say tornado may be unsurvivable if shelter is not sought below ground level. East and south of St. Louis, it's giving us more tools and hopefully more of a, a way to get people to act when they really need to act. More sophisticated radar allows earlier and more accurate warnings, even detecting tornadoes on the ground before eyewitnesses spot them. Oh boy, it's right on we have a debris ball. But in regions where severe weather is common, meteorologists say warning fatigue can set in. I was laying in bed and, and I heard the siren go off, but I didn't think nothing about it because it had been going off all day. Linda Carell never sought shelter, but still survived last year's tornado that killed at least 26 in her tiny Alabama town. There is somewhat of a cry wolf syndrome out there because three out of four times they're false alarms. Hoping that new stark language will make sure the most critical alarms are heard loud and clear. John Yang, NBC News, Chicago.